Today I want to talk about Google Merchant Center, what it is, how it works in relation to your store, your online shop and your Google Ads account and your shopping campaigns. So just a brief slide to help me sort of illustrate if you like. So here on the left here you can see you have your e-commerce store which in this just just a this symbol represents a Shopify website. On the right hand side here we have Google Ads so that's where you're going to want to show your Google Shopping campaigns and what we have then in the middle is Google Merchant Center. Now Merchant Center is where all your product information is stored everything about your products that is taken from your website and stored in and stored and kind of housed inside Google Merchant Center so we have from your store your product information is pushed into Google Merchant Center and once there it's all verified by Google they make sure everything's okay <clears throat> and then that once everything is approved and active that information then gets pushed into your Google Ads account where you are able to build shopping campaigns using that product information. Now sometimes you'll have a third party tool um, called a, a feed management tool or feed management platform which will kind of sit in between your website and Google Merchant Center and if you're using one of these then your product information will go from your shop your uh, online store into that feed management tool and from the feed management tool into Google Merchant Center which means that you then don't have to have that direct link between the, the, the product information is not directly pushed straight from your store into Merchant Center it's it's fed via this tool which enables you to make certain changes to the feed and the optimizations which we're not going to go into now. So that's what Google Merchant Center does and how it fits in to the bigger picture. So what I'm going to do now is take you inside a Google Merchant Center account to just show you exactly what you have inside. So this is the overview screen. What you'll have, what, what, what you need to set up in Merchant Center is all your business information and your shipping and returns and sales tax and all that kind of thing. So shipping and returns can be set up in the feed or it can be set up inside Google Merchant Center. If you have a simple shipping, it's usually easier to do it inside Merchant Center. So that's what, this is where you will set up your different services and um, define if you have different delivery zones, if you ship to different countries, you'll set that all up in here. And then that information is combined with your product information. So Google knows exactly how much it's going to cost to have a certain product delivered to the place wherever somebody is that they're searching. What you also have inside here is um, a place to set up your tax. So obviously in for US particularly, you have different tax sales tax in different states. So this is where you set all of that up. You also have your business information. So this is where you show your business name and you'd have your address and customer service contact details, your website, which you have to claim your website. You have to verify that you own the website and all of that information is in here. You can also upload logos to use inside sort of smart campaigns and that kind of thing. <clears throat> now, then once you've got your product feed set up inside Google Merchant Center, it then provides you sort of diagnostic information as to the quality of your feed. Um, it gives you a, a limited amount of data as to how your campaigns are performing. Um, but as you can see here, we have products um, that are enabled for shopping campaigns and for dynamic remarketing campaigns. You can click on the diagnostic tab inside Merchant Center and it will tell you exactly how many active products you have whether you have any expiring or sort of pending when you first upload your feed a brand new feed they'll sit in pending for a little while usually a few days before <clears throat> being approved and it will tell you if you have any disapproved items and if you scroll down the page here now it will show you 
why that product has been disapproved. It's got an invalid GTIN so that you're able to then go and well fix that. It also gives you, uh, you have yellow warnings, which this does not stop. This disapproved item is not showing in your shopping campaigns because it's not uh, verified and approved in your feed. Anything with a yellow warning is still showing in your shopping ads, but you'll probably find that the performance is not as good as it could be. Um, and it gives you information here as to what you need to do. For example, here, image quality, um, what you need to do to fix these errors. So the idea would be to clear all these errors and to have um, a, as, as good a quality product feed as you probably possibly can have. Across the top here, these are item issues. It will also highlight if you have any feed issues or if you have any count account issues. If there's a warning or an error or a potential suspension on your account, it will show here and you will you will clearly see it. You'll see it on this tab here if you need to check it. So well worth going in there and checking that on a regular basis. You can see all your products. So if you click on the All Products tab, it will list all the products that you have listed. Um, it gives you the ID and the price and it shows you how many clicks they, they, they've had and whether it's active in shopping and any other. So this one is shopping and dy dynamic remarketing. You can click on any one of these particular products and you can see the details of the product. You can see how many clicks <clears throat> you've had and then you can also see um, shipping rate calculator and all the information from your data feed for any particular product that you have there. The feeds uh, menu item on the left here, this allows you to see what feeds you have set up. So we just have one feed here. It shows you where well, you can go in and change settings for that particular feed. If you use supplemental feeds, this is where you add those as well. Again, that's um, beyond the scope of this video. You can use supplemental feeds to add additional data to your products, to your product feed. Um, to use in feed rules and that kind of thing. You also have this growth section. This can, sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. It will uh, make suggestions of opportunities of products which it thinks are related to yours, which you possibly might want to, um, want to advertise on. Um, that's in this section here, the product suggestions. Um, I find usually that they're completely irrelevant. This, for example, this they're giving me all sorts of home products, which is totally irrelevant because this, this particular company only sells lighting. We do not sell hoovers. Um, but it's worth checking there occasionally. You can sign up for different um, <clears throat> programs in here. So for uh, shopping ads, you've got your dynamic remarketing. If you want to use local inventory ads, you can set those up here, product ratings, um, merchant promotions, if you want to run promotions in your shopping campaigns, you'll need to set that up inside here. So that's all the information that you have inside Google Merchant Center. Um, and as I said, the um, basically it just sits, it's, it's a data, almost a data storage area. And it's the area where Google will verify that all the information in your product feed fits with all its sort of criteria, whether you've got um, the particular attributes that are required in a feed, it makes sure you've got all of those. It makes sure things like if there are barcodes, this GTIN numbers for your products, it make, it, it checks to make sure that you have the right barcode and that matches other the same product in other for other sellers. Um, and that's but that's how Google Merchant Center works. And it just sits in between your website and Google Ads over on the right here um, and just manages all your product data. So I hope that helps to clarify and helps to explain a little bit more about what Google Merchant Center is and sort of how it works. And I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you have, please hit the like button. That would be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when I um, upload new videos, which is usually on a weekly basis. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below if you have any questions, but I will see you next time. Take care now.